Good day, everyone. Now we have lesson 15.2, Related Rates. A, a problem involving rate of change of related variables is called a problem in related rates. Example, the derivative of the area of rectangle as its space x. Then the rate of change is... Uh, d of a over d of x. For instance, if we want to analyze the change in the area depending on the time denoted by t. This new rate of change is now denoted by d of a over d t. Also, the independent variable x may change with respect to t. Thus, its a rate of change is dx over dt. The variable a and x are called the related variables and their rates. d of a over dt and d of x over dt are called related rates. Example one. A ladder 25 feet long is leaning against a vertical wall. If the bottom of the ladder is pulled horizontally away from the wall at three foot per second, how fast is the top of the ladder sliding down the wall when the bottom is 15 feet from the wall? Okay, so ito yung ating uh, sketch ladder leaning against the vertical wall. Then ang um, ladder ay 25 feet long. Okay, for the solution, let t seconds be the time that elapsed since the ladder started to slide down the wall. The y feet be the distance from the ground to the top of the ladder at t seconds. And x feet be the distance from the bottom of the ladder to the wall at t seconds. Because the bottom of the ladder is pulled uh, horizontally away from the wall, 3 feet per second. So we have the dx over dt, which is equals to 3. We wish to find out the dy over dt when x is equal to 15 feet or 15. So ito yung ating pinaka uh, target ngayon. The derivative of y with respect to t. From the Pythagorean theorem, Kasi magpo-form siya ng right triangle. So magagamit natin ang y squared equals 25 feet or 25 square minus x square. So we are going to evaluate 25 square. So we have the y squared equals 625 minus x square. Because x and y are functions of t, we differentiate both sides with respect to t and obtain. So, ito na yung ating uh, given uh, equation. Then, equate natin ito or differentiate natin yung left and right side ng equation. Okay, so, from the given Pythagorean uh, theorem, so, yung left side ay y squared. So, we are going to find the derivative of y with respect to t. Ganun din yung left side. So, ang ating uh, right, left side ay 2y dy over dt. At yung right side naman, 625, ito ay constant. So, yung negative x squared. So, derivative of x squared with respect to t. Uh, meron tayo ngayon negative 2x dx over dt. Then, target natin itong uh, dy over dt. So, may iwanan lang siya sa uh, left 
Then, yung 2y, pwede siyang mabunta sa denominator ng negative 2x. Dito, ano? Yan, pwede siyang pumunta doon. So, meron na tayong dy over dt equals negative 2x over 2y times dx over dt. So, yung negative 2 and 2 ay eliminated na yan. So, ang mangyayari na ngayon ay dy over dt equals negative x over y times dx over dt. When x is equals to 15, it follows from uh, the Sate Pythagorean, y squared equals 625 minus x squared is 15 squared. So, mangyayari ngayon ay 625 minus 15 square. So, meron tayong 400. Okay, so pag kinuha natin ng square root of 400, so meron tayong 20. So, 20 yung ating y. Then, yung ating x ay 15. x 15, then y is 20. So, because... Uh, dx over dt is equals to 3. So, we get from dy over dt, uh, yung ating given uh, answer kanina. So, dy over dt is equals to negative x over y times dx over dt. Substitute natin yung value ng x and y, tsaka yung dx and dt. So, meron na tayong dy over dt equals negative 15 over 20 times 3. And that is negative 9 over 4 or negative 2.25. Okay, so ito ngayon yung ating value ng derivative of y with respect to t. Therefore, the top of the ladder is sliding down the wall at the rate of 2.25 feet per second when the bottom is 15 feet from the wall. Yung the significance of the minus sign, diba, meron tayo dito minus sign. Okay, so yung significance nun uh, is that y is decreasing as t is increasing. Okay, and that's it. Okay, for example number two, air is being pumped into a spherical balloon at the rate of 4 centimeter cube per minute when the rate at which the second the radius of the balloon is increasing when the radius is 10 centimeter ito yung ating illustration let v and r denote the volume and radius of the balloon respectively so, ang given natin ay dv over dt is equals to 4 cm3 per minute. Unknown, target natin ay yung radius. So, we have uh, dr over dt when r is equals to 10 cm. Okay, formulate the model. So, model natin for uh, volume of the uh, sphere. So, we have v is equals to 4 pi over 3 r cubed. Implicitly differentiate the model with respect to time or respect to t. So we have d v over dt. Then yung 4 pi over t constant naman niya. So kukuha lang natin ang uh, derivative of r with respect to t. So meron tayong 3 r squared dr over dt. Then, ang target natin ay yung itong dr over dt. Okay, so ngayon, cancel out na yung 3 and 3. So, meron na lang tayong, itong dv over dt, meron tayong value ito. Eh. Yan ay, so dito nakuha na natin yung ating, ano, di ba, yung ating, Ah, uh, question. Okay. So, ngayon, kuhanin natin yung ating quantity, then, substitute natin yung value ng R. 
dv over dt is equals to 4 pi r squared dr over dt. So, ang value ng dv over dt is 4. Then, ang value ng r natin ay 10. So, gamitin natin yan. So, we have 4 equals 4 pi 10 squared dr over dt. Then, dr over dt, so, pwede natin i over 4 pi uh, 10 square. Kaya itong nasa right side, itong part na to ay mawala na yun. Mapunta na siya sa denominator ng 4. So, ito na siya ngayon. 4 over 4 pi 10 square. Then, yung dr over dt nandun pa rin. Yan ang target natin. So, therefore, 4 over 4 pi, cancel na yung 4. So, matitira na lang ay y over pi or 100 pi. So, 1 over 100 pi. So, approximately, 1 divided by 100 pi is 0 0.00318. When r is 10 centimeter or when the radius r is 10 centimeter and the radius r is increasing at the rate of 0 0.00318 centimeter per minute. And that's all.